currently working on a project for this material rack. We have handwritten what all the material is. It's kind of confusing because you don't know if it's labeling what's up or down. So I'm working on these labels out of aluminum and uh, I've actually leveled up my machining skills. Let me show you. The challenge on these guys is that it, it's a thin material and I wanted to put a radius all the way around and there was just no way of actually clamping onto this in a vise. So I figured out super glue and painter's tape. It actually works. I learned this trick from watching a great video by John Saunders at NYC CNC. I'll put a link in the description of this video. The key is to put painter's tape on the raw stock as well as a sacrificial plate and then glue the two tape surfaces together. I placed a weight on the raw stock and waited a few minutes for the glue to set up. The first tool is a spot drill for the holes and then a drill. I should have used a shell mill or something bigger to face the surface. Things would have gone faster, but I was trying to cut down on the number of tools I used. I used a spot drill to engrave the different labels for the raw materials. I only went in about seven thousandths of an inch deep. Using the end mill around the profile of the part was the biggest test for the super glue, but it held strong. The only time it didn't hold was when I tried to use coolant. Of course, the tape got wet. I finished the part with a nice chamfer and it was done. I used a paint scraper to pull up the part from the plate. So there you go, super glue and painter's tape. Taking light cuts, it worked, held it down perfectly, and I was able to machine all the way around and give it a nice chamfer, and uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. To make the words and numbers stand out, I painted the surface with Dicom marking fluid. Once it dried, I sanded the surface, leaving the red dye only in the engraved areas. I think that looks pretty good. I got all of the labels machined, I got them riveted to the rack, and uh, I'm just feeling really good about that. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and all of that kind of stuff, ring the bell, and follow me on Instagram, at Jeremiah Dawes, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.